Local history in VS Code lets you see all of the changes that have been made to a file. Now, the nice thing about this is that it does not depend on having source control enabled. So it's something that VS Code just automatically turns on and will automatically update for you. You don't have to configure Git or do anything like that. Let's take a look at it in this TypeScript project. So I'm going to go into a TypeScript file here, and I've opened up the timeline view over in the Explorer. So again, I've expanded the timeline view. I've also gone into the timeline view and gone over to the little filter here and made sure that local history is enabled. Now I'm going to start editing this file. So I'll do something like, let's go and change congrat congratulations here to congrats. I'll go and save that. And you can see that now a new entry has shown up in the timeline view. Now this is the local history view. So we're seeing local history entries here, and it's telling us that the file was saved. If I actually go and uh, hover over this, we can see that sure enough, the file was saved and it tells us the time when the file was saved as well. Now I'm going to go make another edit. So I'll add an exclamation mark and then save again. You can see that a new entry has shown up in the list. And finally, just to get one more entry, I'll actually go and rename disposables here using F2 to trigger a rename. And I'll go and call this disposable instead, save that file. And you can see I have a more descriptive entry of what actually happened here. Again, I'm having to save the file to the disk each time. Now, where local history becomes most interesting, though, is that you can actually browse the previous versions of the file. So if I wanted to compare one of these old versions of the file to the current version, I can just go and click on it. And I get this nice diff view that's showing all of the changes between this version of the file and the current version. I can also go and right click to compare a one version of the local history with a previous version. So if I go and right click here and say compare with previous, I can see just the changes that were made between this one and the previous local history entry there. Finally, if I want to go and restore one of the old versions of the file, I can just go and right click on it and I'll say restore contents. It'll prompt me and make sure I actually want to replace the current contents of the file with the old version. But now I've gone and restored the uh, contents here, and I can go and save. You can see that I have a file restored and then a file saved entry after restoring the contents. So that's a quick introduction to the local history feature in VS Code. It lets you browse the history of a file, and you can even perform diffs or revert the file to a previous version.